what is up ladies and gentlemen it is your maker 2199 bring you guys another commentary now this one um i'm playing king of the hill and reclaimed and i have a little thing that i need to say before we start uh i just came back i'm starting to play gears again there's a ton of maps that i missed that i wasn't able to play that sort of stuff and they do come up when we're at the playlist trying to choose a game whatever and here i'm still playing some of the five playments, uh, placement matches for the new season or whatever. And one of my biggest things or issues right now is just the simple fact that for whatever dumb reason, everybody chooses the same old map that we played since the beginning. I'm like, come on. Uh, Fuel Depot just came out. I wanted to play it. And it's not that I want to play it because it's not a really old map or whatever. I just want to play it because I want to see how it came out. This is Gears 4. It has different visuals or graphics as if you like. And I just want to see how it came out just to do a little like comparison compared to how it looked back in the day, how it looked in Gears EU, and how it looks now, basically. And I haven't been able to play any of the new maps. Look at that. <laughs> Lucky ass shot though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. My sniper was pretty pretty darn good this day that I was playing. And I do miss quite a lot. But for me not have picked up the sniper in I don't know how many months. I'm not doing too shabby with it right now. <laughs> Before I jinx myself. But I've been doing alright. I've been getting some okay games. I'm still struggling a lot with my aim. And I don't know what it is. I I really don't. I still can't figure it out. It's in my opinion, it's really inconsistent. Sometimes it chews around the elbow-ish. Sometimes it chews so far right that it's ridiculous. And I I really don't know what to say or how to fix it. So that's that. But let me continue though. So um. I forgot my train of thought because I hear I hear the phone going off in the background. But anyways, I'm just gonna continue here. So I've been playing it, I've been doing okay. Like you you're gonna see me miss a lot and stuff like that. It could be lag and it could be just my aim being way off. Some of it's a combination of both. Some of the times I'm way off, some of the time it was lag that saved them or made the illusion that I was actually shooting them. And I wasn't but anyways that that's not important so what is important is that I want to come and hit you guys with another like life lessons video and hopefully on this one I will not stray <laughs> away as much from the topic so uh, one of the things that really gets me and I go to work I have a, a lot of these people that are friends that I talk to they're around my age whatever and they always look at me and they're always asking me questions because I'm a little bit older than some of them or quite a bit older than some of them and for others I'm around their age and then we have our I don't like to say elderly but the older gentlemen because they're not really all that old they're just older than us some of them are retired and that's the beauty of things I remember back in the day like when my dad got retired or whatever he had to work till he was like 60 something and some of these people now with the new retirement plans and stuff like that, you see these people, some of them are like 50, 51, 55. They're already retired. They've been a few years retired or a year or whatever. And they're working here because they still can. Like, <laughs> you're not that old at 50, trust me. And I'm not, not that I'm 50 or anywhere near that, but still. Like, you're not that old. They're still able to, you know do work and all of that and i get that they're tired that they get tired and stuff like that a lot more than the younger guys I, I get it i mean they already went through so many years of working and stuff like that that they have on us that we were barely getting i guess but anyways you know i i like to get some advice from them because i usually believe that they're a bit wiser you know they've been through life they've been through a few situations and I believe that you can learn a good amount of stuff and it's not academically or anything like that it, it, It's more like common sense or what you would assume would be common sense, but really isn't and I don't know. I just like talking to him and I guess I'm like in that sort of situation for some of the younger guys 
And me being, you know, at the age that I am, a bit older than a few of these guys are quite a bit older. Not 10 years older, but, you know, <laughs> over 5 years older than some of them. Close to 10, actually. And they come to me and they're like, oh, well, you have a few years on me. Like, how was this? How was that? You know, what happened? What have you done that I haven't done or where you were in this situation? What did you do? Whatever. <clears throat> and I totally... You know, if I can help somebody out, I'm always happy. That doesn't bother me, man. Like, yeah, I'm not a fake person. I'm not gonna lie. I'll be honest with you. I'll tell you, okay, this happened, that happened. You know, I did this, whatever. And I'm not gonna be, like, bullshitting anybody because at the end of the day, we all want to do good. This is life. We all want to win, I guess, if you could win in life. You know, I don't know. Charlie Shin was winning, so I, I guess you could win in life. <laughs> But I really don't know, so we all want to do good though, so if I can help anybody out, I'm more than happy to do it. And one of the things that bothers me though is that I get a few of these people that come to me and they ask me, Okay, how have you been able to do this? How were you able to do this other thing or whatever by this age? And I tell them, uh, I usually think about it, I know what I want to do, and I set goals, I set everything that I want, and then I go and pursue it. And some of them, they're like, no, it's because you don't understand. And this is what really, like, fucks me. Like, I'm trying to help a few of these people, you know, guys, girls, whatever, both. And some of them hit me with some stupid bullshit that makes absolutely no sense. So, one of the first persons, and I've met a few people like this. But one of the first persons that was asking me about life and what you've done and stuff like that. The very first introduction that they did to me was like, oh, this is blada blada, you know, I got knocked up. I'm only pregnant because I got knocked up. And I'm like, well, <laughs> that is a fucked up thing to say. You know, it really is truly. Let's be honest. Like, who says that? Unless you're unhappy or whatever. And now they're trying to look at me, like, seeing if I've done any messed up decisions to, I guess, make them feel better about themselves. And I'm like, uh, no, I haven't. <clears throat> And they're like, well, how or why or blah, blah. and I'm like, because I think about the stuff that I do, I don't just act to act. And fact, because I read a ton, this is a fact. There was a study done and people that just act out of emotion, whatever, without thinking, their life is inferior to those that at least even if you take five minutes or less to think about it, your life will be a lot greater than those that just act out of freaking emotion and stuff like that. So put that on your noggin. Next time you're about to act out of emotion, really take a few more minutes, think about it, realize what the situation is, really analyze it, and then, you know, go forth. If I ever learned something in school was that there's no such thing as a right or wrong way to do things. Every situation is unique to each other. Every person's gonna have a unique or whatever approach to whatever. What matters is the end result. That's what matters most. And <clears throat> it's always going to be situation analysis. Every time. Like, get your emotions out of it. You know, really analyze the situation and make a decision based on that scenario. So that's the best advice that I can give people. And that took me a long, long time to learn. But I've learned it. And I've yet to master it. But, you know, emotions are going to get us. We're going to do a few little things here and there. We just hope that it's not... If it's going to go come back and bite us on the ass, it's not like I'm going to have to live with a person that I don't even like and get married to him for I don't know how long because I took this stupid-ass decision. So, I get a lot of friends that always go drinking. And you always have that at work and stuff like that. But I have some young friends. And all they do when I talk to them, it's they bitch to me about and they blame me they're like every time i talk to you you're bitching about your life i'm like i don't bitch about my life i fucking like my life <laughs> i work hard to be where i'm at and there's the thing that i'm complaining about so i don't complain to people about the things that i have or didn't have or or anything like that another headshot there pretty nice i guess although the guy wasn't moving but he was being a little bit cocky so i was like yep that's the guy right before it ends he's getting his dome popped <laughs> so I'm like get out of here with your cocky ass face so like I was saying so they come to me and they're like well blah, blah, blah. so I'm like okay let's analyze the thing so I'm like 
<coughs> you go, you get drunk, you get like they call it, shit faced every fucking, you know, two days out of the week, you stay at home or whatever, you're your parents angel, every other day you go to work, you get shit faced, right? Every time you come drunk home or whatever, you go home with another guy every like two or three weeks, you know, and I don't know, like, <laughs> when you're shit faced, you're not thinking, right? You can't think, you're messed up, your brain is, you know, somewhere else. Like, how are you gonna make some wise and good decisions with your life and then feel guilty at me because I haven't done what you've done? Like, no, like, I don't get drunk, I don't do none of that shit for that same reason. I already know if I get drunk, I'm gonna go do something stupid and then I'm gonna have to live with whatever stupid shit I did. And <laughs> it's gonna take a long time to live with that shit. So I'm like, fuck no. Every time they tell me, let's go out drinking, let's go out here, I'm like, fuck no. Like, I'll go out, I'll have a good time, but I'm not gonna drink. I'm not gonna do this, and I'm not gonna buy you drinks either, motherfucker. Like, you know, I'm not working to spend my fucking check on your fucking bad habits and shit. So, <clears throat> they get all mad or whatever. They're like, oh, well, you're, you're not as cool or you're not part of the group. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck to be part of the group. To be honest, I really don't. <laughs> it's like... I got my life, I know what I want to do, and get drunk five days out of the week and do stupid ass decisions and have to live with the decisions that I've taken isn't one of them. So I do believe that every every action we take has a consequence, whether bad or good. We could do something bad to have a good or bad consequence. We could do something good have a good or bad consequence. I believe you don't get away with it. You're not gonna just... <laughs> You know, walk away from any stupid decision. Like, it's going to come and bite you in the ass, either positively or negatively at some point. And sometimes it hits you sooner than you expected. But, you know, those are the consequences of decisions. For every action, there's a reaction. So every time you're acting, there's going to have to be some sort of, you know, reaction to whatever you're doing. So, <clears throat> let's say, for example, like, I'm going out, whatever. I'm getting drunk. Let's say I get a girl that I don't even like or whatever. I hate her. I can't stand her. We're drunk. I get her pregnant. Now I got to get married to her or whatever. I know some people are going to say, no, you don't have to. Well, I mean, you don't want to just walk away from it right away and be a bitch about it now, do you? I mean, take some responsibility for what you've done. You fucked up. You did a dumb thing. Now you have a kid. Now you got to take a bit of responsibility for that. You know, don't bitch out about it. It was your fucking decision to begin with, you know? So, <laughs> you know, don't be unhappy about life. Like, life treats you the way you treat it. If you don't treat it with respect, it's a dangerous animal. And it's a dangerous game. If you play dangerously, you know, the consequences are going to be severe. It's up to you. <laughs> and I just really dislike it when they're all like, well, how come this doesn't happen to you? I'm like, because I've never put myself in that situation. I've never been mauled by a lion because I've never stood in front of the motherfucker to be mauled by it. <laughs> like, why are you tempting it? If you get eaten by a lion, I'm going to be like, you stupid ass motherfucker. Why were you there to begin with? Did you not know he couldn't have eaten you? Of course he did. They can't play dumb. So, you know, like I said, every decision you take has a consequence, whatever. So think about it, you know, be smart about what you're doing, you know. Choose a life that you want. If you want to be a businessman, you want to be a lawyer, a doctor, there's nothing wrong with it. Just pick it, choose it, follow it, live it. You know, that's what you need to do. Don't worry about the risk. The risk doesn't want you to be a lawyer. Your friends that are getting drunk every day doing bad decisions, they don't want to be lawyers. They don't want to be doctors. They don't share the same vision you do. You know, maybe you should question if you should continue to hang out with them more than... <laughs> You know, be like, oh, no, you're right. I should go hang out more. You know, you got to surround yourself with people that are going to influence you positively. People that share some of the same visions. You know what I mean? That's why people that have really successful marriages say, I got married to my best friend. You know, this person knows me better than anybody. And that's why it works. And it's the same thing with any other like relationship you have. If you're going to have friends, have friends in the areas that you are interested in. So that they can mentor you or maybe you can mentor them and you guys can go together living the life that you guys chose to live you know what i'm saying like you gotta be careful with what you do that's that's all i'm saying and now i'm not saying don't have fun 
don't hang out with your old friends or stuff like that. Just, you know, don't do a stupid ass decision and then think that everybody else is to blame. Because they're not your same way or whatever. That's all I'm saying, basically. <laughs> so, I get a lot of people that come in and they're like, Well, you don't drink, you don't do this or whatever. You're not part of the cool club. And I'm like, alright, cool. Like, I don't care to be part of your club. You know? <laughs> You're not the, <laughs> when I go out and stuff like that, you're not the people that I'm hanging out with. Like, I got my friends, I got my hangouts, <laughs> and all of that, of the places where I want to be. You know, your profile and your lifestyle does not fit my lifestyle. That is alright with me. That doesn't mean we can be friends or have a great chat at work or whatever, you know, and we do. But other than that, that's all we are. We're basically just, you know, good friends at work and stuff like that. But... What I do hate is when they start judging me and, and, and they start like, oh, well, you only got this because of that. And I'm like, well, you have only don't have this because of that thing, right? Like, it works both ways. Like, if we're going to fucking judge each other, the reason that you're miserable is because of all these decisions that you're taking that I haven't taken. And you're looking down upon me like, oh, you did something fucked up or you, there's something weird about what you're doing. Like, no, there isn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. It's a crazy thing. <clears throat> and I try, I don't really judge people like I don't give a fuck if you're drunk or whatever I could still you know talk with you and stuff like that have a good time you know just see what's up whatever but I really do hate it when people try to look down upon you for not having their same visions and stuff like that and I'm a really humble person like I don't talk a lot there's a lot of people that talk too much they want to brag about all that they've done and every time that they ask me like why don't you like tell us more like what you've done and stuff like that i'm like because nobody gives gives a shit that's the truth like nobody cares i never judge the person because oh man this guy did this so i respect them more no i respect you for what you've shown that you could do right then and there at the situations at the moments that you were there like i'm not gonna respect you for some shit i never saw you do <laughs> you know what i mean so, like, if you got accomplishments, yeah, sure, everybody does. Like, I can respect that. Like, it takes hard work to accomplish something. Of course, but if you just want me to respect you because you talk too much and that sort of shit, like, that doesn't fly with me. You know what I mean? So, there's a lot of people here that just talk too much and, and shit like that. And they're all like, oh, well, we forget that you have this or whatever. Yeah. And I just hate it. Like, it, when I get vocal is when I see people, like, look down upon me and be like, oh, well, you don't remember that. I'm like... What are you talking about, bitch? Like, I've done this more than you. Like, I know more about this than you do. Oh, well, I forgot about that. It's because you're really quiet. And I'm like, I'm not quiet. I talk quite a bunch. I Just because I don't brag about some of the stuff that I've done <laughs> doesn't make me quiet. It doesn't disqualify me or whatever. So, I don't know. It's just, it's stupid. It's been on my mind. It's something that bothers me a bit. And hopefully... The reason that I say this is that hopefully, even if you're an older person or a younger person, hopefully you get motivated and you start rethinking those decisions that you're making. If your life is messed up, it's messed up for a reason probably. There's a few, very few scenarios where it's not your fault. Most of the time it is your fault. <laughs> Think about it really, like you were the one that got drunk, you were the one that did this stupid ass shit. Your fault. Um, there's very few instances where it isn't and that is where it gets a little bit messed up, you know Because now you have to suffer for somebody else's actions and that is really unfair that sort of stuff And I just Mario died <laughs> It was really funny. I don't know how these nades always get me like I'm pretty sure I almost ran out the door and that nade that was planted on the other fucking side of the stairwell still killed me like it is ridiculous but <clears throat> ah, there was something else I wanted to say and it just went through my brain because <laughs> I was looking at that little Mario theme. But oh yeah, I'll leave you guys with this one. So the other day I have this chick and she was all unhappy. She's all like saying like how come rich people are rich or whatever. They're How come they have what they have or whatever. So they're like complaining to me about it for whatever like reason. And I'm like okay, let's break it down into perspective you know. If you want to be rich, what steps are you taking right now to be rich? And she's not like, well, I'm not doing anything right now, but I do plan to do something. And I told her, that's the problem. That's the problem with people. They're not doers. They're just, you know, talkers. I'm a doer. If there's something I want to do, I'm going to get it done. Even if I suck at it, I'm going to go and try it. 
because that's the type of person that I am and I'm like if you want this if you want to ha have money and do all of this start doing stuff to get money start putting yourself in that situation even if you're not the best and she's all like, well, I get that, but I, I'm trying to develop a plan. Of it. And I'm like, those are just excuses, girl. That's all they are. Like, did, you don't need to be the best at this or at that in order to do it. Just get it done. Just try it. Learn as you go. That's that's the best way you to learn things, as you go. So I got all motivational on their ass. And this other chick is telling me, well, I've always struggled with, you know being able to do my homework and stuff like that and I told her I used to struggle with it very little and I told her and the reason is because I'm a doer like I told her this is the way that I always saw it this was my psychology if I think about it right now I'm gonna think about it for an hour two hours I'm gonna watch a show watch a movie think about it some more at the end of the day I didn't do crap I told her while I'm thinking about it I just opened the darn book and start reading <laughs> by the time time I'm done reading I'm still thinking about it like should I read it should I not I don't know but at the end of the day I already read the fucking chapter I already read what I had to get done I told her just do it you know just open that thing know what you gotta do put some time aside be like 30 minutes 20 minutes an hour whatever study it learn it you know pass your class do what you gotta do 20 minutes ain't that much out of your day like I, I've taken craps longer than 20 minutes you know what I'm saying and that's a joke obviously <laughs> but you guys <clears throat> know what I'm saying so just go out there do it you know a movies a lot longer than 20 minutes we procrastinate way too much go and do whatever you have to do so I'm telling them this stuff she gets all motivation like you know what I might just start you know putting myself out there trying to make more money whatever this other chick that was telling me she struggles with her classes she fucking left work during the clock because she just lived down the street. Fucking went and grabbed some books, sat there, and started reading. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing because I told her, you know you're not supposed to read here, right? Like, that's not what I meant. I, don't, I didn't mean go out of work. Like, you can't do that shit. She's like, oh, well, whatever. Like, I want to read right now because I'm not doing anything. And then at the end of the day, she got in trouble. And I couldn't stop laughing with one of the managers because instead of working, she's reading. And I'm like, of course you're going to get in trouble. Like, you're at work. Like, I was talking about your free time, not during their time. Like, they're not going to pay you <laughs> to read your school material or whatever. Like, they're not going to pay me to run my business or whatever when I'm at work. Like, they don't care. You'll get in trouble for that shit. And I was just, like, telling her, like, you got motivated. But the thing is, <laughs> you did this in the wrong scenario, though. You got motivated and you went for it at the wrong scenario. And I told her, that was also my dad. Because I just said to go and do it and stuff like that. So I told her, I apologize. Like, I did, <laughs> I didn't mean to influence you to go do something that's against the rules, obviously. But, you know, at the end of the day, I told her, you had the right mentality, though. That, and that's what I'm talking about. Like, you went and you did it. You didn't give a fuck if you were going to get in trouble or not. You were trying to get that homework or, the, or that work in and do it. And, you know, get it over with. So... You know, they were motivated at first and that sort of stuff. And I was happy because I was able to help them out. And they were like, oh, well, I started doing better in school. I started reading more and stuff like that. And I told her, it's only like 20, 15 minutes that you read for. You can't concentrate for more than that. Um, you get burned out and you need to take a break and then come back at it later or another day, whatever. So I told her, it's only like 15 minutes. Like, you spend more time putting makeup or doing some other thing than freaking 15 or 20 minutes that you're gonna spend or even just get it done like don't even <laughs> procrastinate there's no reason to so yeah you know hopefully this will help some of you guys if not it's, it's just a fun story though but uh, the life lesson is you know think about your decisions if you're thinking something over that you want to do don't think about it too much do it learn from it learn as you go that's the best way to do it <laughs> i'll see you guys on the next one thank you bye